I'm feeling like doing a little drugstore makeup shopping. Want to join me? Let's go find out what we can't live without. I'm really a fan of the Maybelline lipsticks, and I own a lot. Of course, I own a lot of lipstick anyway, but I'm really, the bullet lipsticks are excellent. I have lots and lots of them, and they, this Super Stay Matte Ink that they have is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. It really does stay on and it looks beautiful and they have so many great colors. I actually have this color and I wear it quite a bit. This is Lover and it's a great color. So if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that is long wear, this stuff by Maybelline really, it's $9.99 here. And I really, really enjoy it. I'll even wear like a little Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss over it if you know I want a little glitter for or a little shine on my lips. This new Maybelline Matte Crayon, this stuff is the bomb. I actually have tried one, Lead the Way was the color, and I just bought Treat Yourself recently. I haven't used it yet, but I think it's really gonna be a hit. So if you're looking for a lipstick for the holidays that's gonna stay on and yet feel moist, this is a really good option. And I like it because I think you can choose one of these darker, brighter colors and have it stay, and you not have to worry about it when you're at the party and you know you got lipstick everywhere or it's coming off on your glass or on your teeth or that sort of thing. So this long wear matte crayon from Maybelline is really the bomb. I've been looking at these, um, this Master Chrome defining kit where it's a bronzer and blush and highlight. I'm really liking these colors and I think that this could be a good kit. And I'm really becoming a fan of these all-in-one palettes, you know, where you can get you know, this is contour blush and highlight all in one. So this is this is really interesting to me. That's $12.99. I think that's a good price, you know, if you're going to get all those things in one kit. This Master Chrome strobing stick is really interesting to me. This is the same line as the Master Chrome highlighter, which is currently my absolute favorite highlighter. And so this is a stick formulation, and this is really kind of on my radar. I might be adding this to my gotta buy it list soon. I recently picked up this Super Stay concealer because I'd seen another YouTuber really recommend it. And I actually quite like it. This is a great concealer. It really does cover dark circles. I would say that if you have oilier under eyes, this is a good choice. I find it's just maybe a little bit too dry for me. I'm still using it. I'm still giving it a try. I want to use it for several weeks before I have a comment about it. But if you're looking for a great coverage concealer at a great price, I think this is $11.99 here. Um, this is a great option, but I probably would stay away from it if you have super dry under eyes because it, it is a pretty drying formula. It's almost the kind that you don't really have to use a setting powder with, although I still do because I have so many nooks and crannies under my eyes. But this Super Stay by Maybelline uh, Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, this stuff is good. I just actually bought some of this Maybelline Color Tattoo Studio Cream Eyeshadow. I'm not a really big fan of cream eyeshadows just because they seem to crease on me personally. But I, I had one of my subscribers say give it a try, she really liked it. So I went ahead and picked one up at another store. So I'm going to be doing a try and a review of it, and we'll kind of talk about it. So Color Tattoo by Maybelline. I've had a couple people tell me that these are really good. If you've used them and you like them, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. I'm looking at the display here, and it looks like they're $7.59 for each pot. And right now I'm looking at 10 colors. I don't know if the whole line has more colors, like you can get more online or whatever. But there's 10 here in the store. So the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Iron. Cream eyeshadow. So Physicians Formula, you know, I'm looking on these Physicians Formula, they're butter lipsticks, and I've heard a lot about them, that they're really, really hydrating and glossy, and they might be similar in formula to the L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick, which I just adore so much. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm really, put, it's really kind of on my shopping list to give it a whirl. So if anybody, you know, if you've tried these or if you've had an experience with it, let me know. I, I'm really pondering whether these are as creamy as I've heard before. So this display, they're $8.49 each and 
there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So there's almost twenty shades in the lineup. So that's really pretty good. It'd be fun to be able to find a really moisturizing, yummy lipstick from Physicians Formula. So Wet n Wild. Gosh, I just love so very many products from Wet n Wild. You know, they have one of these eyeshadows that I just adore. Let me see if it's down here. Yeah, here it is right here. <laughs> this is their eyeshadow. It's called Brule. And you can see it's a tiny, tiny little shadow. And when I bought mine, I, gosh, I think it was, yeah, it's 99 cents. This stuff is on my makeup table all the time. It's like the perfect shadow to blend in other colors or to put like a little highlight right underneath your brow. It's so creamy and blendable and nice and I just love having it. And I've heard recently that they might discontinue it. So if you have it at your local Rite Aid or CVS or drugstore, go ahead and pick these up. These are just the bomb. It's just like the most workhorse reliable little eyeshadow in the color Brulee. This pencil from Wet n Wild, this is on my makeup table all the time. I really like it for a couple of reasons. I get the color taupe, you can see it here, and it works perfect. You know, I kind of have this sort of blondish light brown hair. So this is has that kind of angled pencil on it. I don't really know how to describe it, but I like it just for drawing in the ends of my brows. So this is the Wet n Wild Eyebrow Pencil. It has a little spoolie on the other end, which I use all the time on my makeup table. And gosh, I've owned this for several months and I don't even think I'm coming close to using it all up. So Wet n Wild, this is $3.99 here at Rite Aid. So give it a try if you haven't found an eyebrow pencil that you really like. We talked about these high shine liquid cat suit glosses from Wet n Wild before. These things are the bomb, the liquid cat suit, but you have to get the high shine formula because the matte formula sucks, it's horrible. But the high shine is really, really nice. I actually like them as much, if not more, than the Milani Keep It Full because they just stay on so much better. And I have quite a number of colors. I've got this one at home. And they retail for $4.99, so it's almost half the price of the Milani. And I like them just as much, if not more. They're really a thick, hydrating gloss, and they stay on a long time. So the Liquid Cat Suit in the High Shine Formula. Don't get the matte. It's you'll be disappointed. The bronzers from Wet n Wild are awesome. I use the color Sunset Striptease regularly, which is something that I really, really love. This is taken to Brazil. I don't think I have this one, but I'm re I really like these bronzers. They're, they blend really well. The color is terrific. Great price point. They're $4.99, and there's just a lot of product in them. Here we are at CoverGirl, and gosh, how popular has this CoverGirl concealer become? Everyone seems to really love it. And look, at, I think that that's a pretty generous shade range for a drugstore offering. This stuff, I've got it and I actually use it all the time. The CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, it really does work super well. I've got it right on my makeup table and it's the one that I reach for pretty regularly. I haven't found anything that I love more than it. Of course, you know, when you have a little more mature eyes and less than purple skin, there's really no concealer that's going to be the end all be all of concealers because it just ends up in my necks and crannies because you know that's just you know the time of life I'm in. But as far as concealers go, this one really performs very, very well. It's $9.99, which I think is a fabulous price point. And then I just go ahead and set it with a really finely milled powder when I'm done and it, it does the job all day long. The CoverGirl Matte May Foundation, it's really one of my favorite foundations. That's the one that I reach for every day and it's on my makeup table. It sells here for $10.99, which is really a great value. I put it on with a makeup brush and then just pounce it in with a sponge and it just gives such a beautiful finish. But the one that I'm really looking at and it's kind of on my makeup shopping list is this CoverGirl and Olay foundation and it's probably hard to see with the lights. Let me pull one down. So this is what it looks like. CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless and it says it has hyaluronic complex and vitamin C. So I've heard some really good things that this is really a nice glowing moisturizing look to it. So I'm thinking this is going to be the next drugstore foundation that I try. I just heard wonderful things. So I'm probably going to be picking this up in the next few weeks and giving it a whirl. It might be a good one, you know, to really give a nice glow look for over the holiday season. Here's the CoverGirl Advanced Radius Foundation. So this is the CoverGirl Plus Olay. This looks really interesting too. I wonder if this is going to give a little bit more 
glowy finish to it. It might. CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. Age defined, broad spectrum. Looks like it, oh, it's got SPF 10. Definitely would not want to rely on this for your sunscreen, but this retails for $11.99. That's actually not a bad price for a foundation. So maybe I'll try this one instead of the other one that has a hyaluronic acid in the vitamin C because, gosh, I already used a ton of that. So CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. Interesting. You know what's interesting is I'm not seeing, oh, here it is. Here's this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This stuff is the bomb duty of all drugstore mascaras. I love this one the best. So it retails here for $9.99. The only mascara that I have found that I like more than this CoverGirl Exhibitionist is the Essence Mascara. And I get that online because I don't know if they sell it in stores at all. It might be an Ulta, but I don't have an Ulta in my town. So if you're looking for a mascara that really, really lengthens and volumizes and works well, and boy, this stuff does not come off. It does not flake. It does not smudge. It stays put. It really is a fabulous mascara. So give it a try if you haven't found anything that you're really loving. This stuff, this stuff rocks. So Rimmel has some, looks like they have some new eyeshadow palette out for the holiday season. You know, they, they're very generous in their color selection in their palettes. And they, you know, they're a nice palette. They're in a, you know, a nice packaging and this and that. I've actually owned a few of these. And I'll have to say, I just never reach for them. For some reason, it, it just never wows me. And I've got probably four or five at home. And I, I never pulled them out and wear them. So, I don't know. They're, they're a great price point. They're $7.49. And you can see, you know, each of the palette has a lot of a large color selection. I just really haven't found one that just, you know, makes me want to go back and get more. I've heard some good things about the Rimmel lip liners. I think I have one or two at home. I can't say that I've reached for them much, but I might want to give them a try. They're a great price point, $3.59 here at Rite Aid. And it looks like they have a fairly nice color selection. I have used some of the Rimmel lipsticks and really like them. I actually um, got one for my daughter, too, in a color that I thought she would like. They really stay on. They're really um, intense color, really lay down, nice gloss on their lips. The price point, they're $5.59. They're just a great price point. Revlon makes some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. They have so many formulas in so many colors that it's just hard to not find something that's going to work for you with Revlon. I'm really enjoying the new Revlon Lip Vinyl, which comes in a package similar to this. It's not this, but it's similar to it, but I'm not seeing that they have that here at this store. Maybe it's on an end cap or something, but it's in a package similar to this. And boy, the color is just fabulous. They really do stay on your lips all day. Revlon lipsticks are always a great value. They range around eight, nine dollars. Easy on the pocketbook, great drugstore price, and lovely selection. I've really heard great things about this Revlon for reducing primer. I haven't tried it yet, but it's another one of those things that are on my shopping list to pick up and try. This retails here for $13.99 and it's pore reducing. And what else does it say? Um, just pore reducing primer. You can see it's kind of a, a pink tone, pinky flesh tone. I don't know. If, if, have you used it? If you have, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. Revlon also has this photo ready eye primer, which I've heard good things about and I'm kind of curious to try it. I think it's going to be in my next drugstore haul, but it's supposed to really hydrate your under eyes and kind of this one is the brightening formula. I think they also have a color correcting formula, so I'm not sure which one I'll get. This one retails for $11.49, which I think, you know, if it really works, that's a great value. I've used these Revlon colors to cream eyeshadows and actually it did absolutely the opposite on me. It just creased, creased, creased. So unfortunately that was a big bomb for me. And you know, I wore it once and it didn't stay and then I tried it again with another eye primer eyeshadow primer and it just didn't work out. It just creased and didn't look good. So unfortunately it wasn't a color stay situation. Ooh, look at this. This is Revlon Insta Blush. I haven't seen these. This is a cream stick blush. And boy this color is so pretty. It's just such a pretty pretty pink. I haven't even heard about these. I'm gonna have to put this on my shopping list. So they have them down here and there's two four six colors and they retail for $14.99. It's called Blush Crush. 
you know, I'm kind of intrigued by these. That would be really pretty. It might even be good to wear sort of as a lip color and then add it to your cheeks for a blush color as well. Have you heard about these cream foil shadows from Altmay? They're just, there was really kind of a craze about them while, for a while, particularly this one color, Cupid's Glaze. And I actually went out and bought it. It retails here for $8.99, which is a super price. And I wore it, it says, it says 24 hour wear, but you know, unfortunately it creased on me as well. I just haven't had any luck with cream shadows and unfortunately this one didn't work out well for me either. Did you use it? I really enjoy these lipsticks from All Me. This one, Go Wild, I'm actually wearing it today. It's one of my favorite nude lipsticks and while I don't really wear it on its own, it lays down a beautiful lace to be able to put some type of lip gloss or you know, topper over on your lips. And the formula feels really good. It's very, very creamy. They have lots of colors. You can see right here, and the packaging is so cool. It's kind of this little paper packaging that feels good. $8.29, great price for um, a really beautiful, nice, creamy, moisturizing lipstick. Thanks for joining me for this drugstore shopping trip. <laughs> I don't know how many items I'm going to be leaving here with, but we'll wait and see. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.